we have kicked off our first ever Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair, virtual edition, the world's largest pre-college science competition. The contributions of every student further their and our understanding of the world and improves the way that we work and live, representing over 50 countries, regions, and territories. Let's take a look as we get together around the world. One of the most exciting parts of planning virtual regen on ISEF was bringing together top minds from around the world to share their stories and breakthroughs with you. You will learn from some amazing individuals. Get excited about the forefront of discovery. Through a lot of times of turmoil and, and darkness come a lot of innovation. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced us all to think differently. Learning can happen anywhere and oftentimes in unexpected places. Keep your eyes open, your ears open, and your brain turned on. 15 to 30 percent of the time that you try something, you should fail. If they all work, right, you're not trying hard but, enough. No, that's right, you're right. <laughs> Focus on your curiosity, you know, where you think you really will have the drive and the passion. This is important. This is something that I need to push and just be an advocate for underrepresented students. Having a hands-on, project-based learning experience is so critical for young people to develop their career path. To see all of the amazing projects and all these kids who devoted months, sometimes years of their lives, to expanding the curiosity about a subject, that translates into actual real world impacts. It all just starts in this sort of incubator of science fairs. I'd like to now turn it over to questions from some of our finalists. How, mechanically speaking, can CRISPR be used for COVID-19 detection? Cas12 and Cas13 can be programmed with an RNA guide to recognize the virus sequence. The Commons features exhibit booths from several colleges and universities. Visit the STEM Experiential Hall, where organizations, museums, and zoos are offering virtual STEM experiences and activities. You can also learn more about our amazing volunteers, sponsors, and your host, Society for Science and the Public. Now more than ever, it's important for those of us in the science and engineering community to communicate, to support each other, and to share the bond that we all have, the universal language of science. Each and every one of you have that power inside of you. So why not, why not be you? That kid that goes on to change and save the world, and I hope it is each and every one of you.